Jennifer, well, you know what? I hear the job hunt is getting harder than ever for college grads. <laughs> yeah, I heard that somewhere recently. Mm -hmm. But first, uh, Amazon's changing up the way it presents <laughs> deals for customers. Our consumer expert, Amy Davis, is joining us with more on that. Yeah, guys, so both of you guys are Amazon shoppers. Yep. Have you noticed anything different recently on the side? Anything missing? No. No, no. You may want to look again. Okay. The New York Times is reporting a new trend where Amazon is not showing the manufacturer's suggested retail price for many items. They said Amazon didn't comment on the Times inquiry of why the retail giant was dropping that price. It's typically used as a comparison by shoppers against the actual price so you could see how much you're saving. Well, retail analysts say Amazon may be experimenting with new marketing strategies, or it could be reaction to recent lawsuits where judges have found retailers guilty of deceptive advertising because, you know, that regular price is just a bogus number used to make consumers think they're getting a great deal. All right, well, a new study finds apartment renters are paying more money for less space. Apartment search site Rent Cafe finds the average size of new apartments in the U.S. is down significantly from a decade ago. Today, the average size of a new apartment in buildings with at least 50 units is 934 square feet. That's about 8% smaller than in 2006. The study found Atlanta, Charlotte, and Boston are among the top cities with the largest rental units. Well, new college grads and upcoming seniors may be surprised by the interviewer when looking for their first job out of school. It might be a machine. According to CNN Money, big businesses that have traditionally recruited on college campuses are instead using software to screen applicants. Mm. Starting next year, Goldman Sachs will use an automated interview software claiming it takes away biases like mutual friends or same <laughs> schools, which you'd think was an advantage. It well, they say be. that could lead to more diversity on Wall Street, something big banks admit they need to improve upon. Mm -hmm. Still, some say the benefit of meeting people in person is a valuable opportunity. Sure, so, there's a lot that goes unwritten or I yeah, don't know. Exactly. It's like this intangible. But, but imagine, that, I'm imagining this, um, uh, this software interview is sort of like a Skype that you can prepare for. Mm -hmm. So you still sort of dress the part and you could do many takes. So it might benefit some that instead of doing okay. You know, this new generation, they communicate more through electronics right. than they do actual person to person, so maybe they're better at it. Yeah, might be a good thing. Then I would be, be so good. awkward. I mean, right? I would like to Can you imagine? That'd be weird, yeah. <laughs> be really Hello, like, is I this like, on? <laughs> Hello, I like long Please days. Please don't touch the robot, Rachel. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I do too well on that. Thanks, Amy. Oh boy, very interesting. All right.